Okay, this is a demo that I'm doing um, displaying the irregularities of nonlinear mapping. So here we have this max patch, which is doing um, the inputs. It's sending out the inputs for controlling um, these um, number boxes here. So here I'm receiving the messages that are being output over here. This is being processed through. Uh, Wiki Mini over here, and then um, it's being sent to this patch over here. So I've already done the part where um, where we do the mapping. Um, so I'm just going to show the weirdness of nonlinear mapping. So here, the uh, this input number one is attached to this um, output number one. So we can see that this um, slider, the values from 1, from 0 to 127 are mapped to values from 0 to 1 through Wiki Mini. Um, because all of the continuous mapping in the neural network are actually mapped, whatever, whatever you input will be mapped, mapped from 0 to 1. So here we have 0 at the bottom, and in our slider we get 127, and in our um, output over here in this number box it'll be a maximum of 0. So here's the weird part. We have um, the value of 1 to 0, so if I slide this one down, but the relationship with um, the second slider is there which is something that I didn't expect. So the second slider also influences the value that's being output to the first value over here. So the maximum, this is the weird part, the maximum of 127 actually gets mapped to a value of 0.604. And if we add the first slider, this relationship also changes. So it won't output a maximum of value of 1, because I think that it's expecting the value of 127 over here and this to be a value of 0, so we can see that it's incrementing as I actually lower this slider, because it's getting to closer to the position um, that's actually mapped, which is all of the sliders at 0, and this slider, this first slider, at 1, <clears throat> at 127, and that'll give us a value of 1. So if I increase the value of this slider here, it'll move away from the value of 1 from that set of positions in the sliders. So if I set this one to the 127, it'll get the furthest away from the original value of 1. So this is another weird part that this third slider is actually affecting it as well but this time it will get closer to the value of 1. So this is very strange. And if I pull this one down again, then it will get even closer and even go higher than the value of 1. So I'm not sure if it's predicting more than 100% that, that it's close to the value of 1 because of the settings, uh, because of, the settings of, this, of these sliders. So it's hard to tell. This is pretty much by definition nonlinear mapping, which is confusing in terms of machine learning. So if we go and set these values to 0, we'll get our value of 1 here. 